And then the thing that was the piece a la resistance for me that made me know in the darkest, like the bit, the every part of my heart that Heart Gold Soul Silver was my favorite game, period, Game Boy Player. Look, a lot of people are going to be like, why the Game Boy Player? The Game Boy Player to me showed that Game Freak had so much love for those games that they wanted pers to preserve something as insignificant as the original audio. Because they just wanted to give you that original feeling that came out. Go oh, gold and silver were supposed to be the end. Was that that was supposed to be it when it came to the Pokemon franchise? There was not supposed to be a ruby, sapphire, emerald, but because of demand, they did it anyway. Gold and silver had a hundred extra Pokemon in it, not because they wanted to add more Pokemon, but because they couldn't add all the Pokemon that they wanted to add in red and blue. You know. It, it, it exists. What? The thing that got me killed on Pokemon was losing my heart gold. Uh, so it's the different pitch. Exactly. The, the, the games just had so much love because it was not only new Game Freak putting in all of its technical know-how, but it was also Game Freak from old giving in all of that love that made the Pokemon franchise uh, what it was. Um, Swadley is bugged. So I will go- Oh no, I- Let's see how this goes. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just trying to take Hono Eye and style- but Like, style they the definitely- office. They definitely took the momentum that they had post, um... Post the game, and it definitely... Continued the momentum onward. Don't- They, they did not give up the momentum. They, they definitely did amazingly and continued on with that, like, power that they came in with. But, like, it was just, everything was just so well done in gold and silver. They redid that level of expertise that made gold and silver such memorable games. They redid it in such an amazing fashion that it not only made playing the same exact game feel like playing the game that you played years ago, but it gave you the same feeling of when you played it years ago. Of when you played it, and when you had this mystery, and this feeling of amazement, and wow, and happiness. Heart Gold Soul Silver was one of the f amazing Pokemon games that I just loved digging time and energy into, because it just felt so good. It, it felt so well done, it felt so well crafted. Sorry. <laughs> I sit here and smack myself. <laughs> Heart Gold and Soul Silver has tons of excellent themes when it comes to things like, you know, the, the return of Team Rocket. It has a dark storyline about the young S Silver trying to f redeem himself in a, or trying to destroy his father's demons, but in a way having to relive them because he is a thief. He steals his Pokemon. The Snivy that's iconic for him is actually a Pokemon he steals halfway through his, like, run with you. He actually steals that. If you talk to somebody in town, they'll say, Hey, this kid came in and stole my prized rare Pokemon. And after that, he's got a Snivy. I will lose my voice over this. How does he have a Snivy? Or not Snivy. Um, he has a Sneasel. But, like... It is just the the arc the arcs with the game are so well done and everything is so complete. The game doesn't feel rushed. The game doesn't feel like there's anything cut out. Every little storyline from things like Um What's his face? I'm trying to remember. Um, not Booker. Um the guy trying to catch Sweet Coon. You swing. You swing. You, you, like and like a e n s u i n i e. Like his storyline was fleshed out and like how he's been trying to catch this legendary Sweet Coon. So like, I wanted to give it to him, but like he was like, it 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 wanted to be yours. It's yours. I can't take it. Like ah, uh, like he was just like, yeah, that's. Hey, that was things done. We're, we're it's looking at. pretty good, just so. <laughs> it's 
balance. I think we're gonna we can't have the music too loud, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, but we managed to find a good balance of loud down there and not loud up here. <laughs> <laughs> we're just compromising in the middle somewhere. We are. It's okay, you're pretty much there. <laughs> Works. So my hat is somewhere. Yeah, I, the Pokewalker, oh, the yeah. Pokewalker really was so much fun because it wasn't just about getting a free level when you walk around with your thing. What? The the, the Pokewalker was so much fun because like there were mini games on it. It was an accurate. It was actually. It's actually the, one of the world's. Footage. It's actually <laughs> the world's like. So it, 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 it's actually the world's most accurate, like, commercial pedometer for its time. Which is insane. Oh, okay, well, oh they said it was, like, one of the most accurate, yeah. 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 My friend lost his little silver cartridge, and he had his Groudon in it, and he just took his Groudon around everywhere in the, the um, Poke Walker until he got another cart back. And it was awesome! It, 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 he got it legit shiny Groudon, too. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Like soft resetting? No, just walked in and it was shiny. Oh wow. <laughs> just... Definitely look, everyone says they hate Gen 4. A uh, thing I love about Gen 4 is Heart Gold Soul Silver. Because if Gen 4 didn't exist, then technically Heart Gold Soul Silver wouldn't exist. Oh my gosh, Silent Re. Silent Re. Re, sorry. Re. Silent Re. Re. I'm gonna send out. Oh no, I. Here we go. Oh no, I. Oh no, I. Why are you using your last one? Because my right hand's getting ridiculously sore because the strength is oh, no. like mad. Oh no, I used Splash, but nothing happened. I just wanted to do that. I know what it is. Wow, okay. okay. Stop hurting yourself. Where's Marissa at? No idea. I think she left. Went to go yeah, home? she went home because of allergies. Uh, I think. Okay. Yeah, my allergies are finally fading. Is that good or bad? Okay. I'll just steal the rest of my money from this here. Nice. Like, Gen 5 felt like a step back. I'd rather, I'd rather play Gen 4. Heart Gold Soul Silver over Gen 5 Black White 1. Black White 2 is nice. Black White 2 has a lot of things to fill your time. I was getting bored with no art. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you could do. Um, I, I can't think right now. <coughs> Yarp! Yarp! Good job, Crystal. Yarp. Don't worry, I lost one. I forget what Pokemon it was, but. Yeah, I actually really liked Pokewalker. I have not but find, I lost I, kind of instantly. In all of my years of playing Pokemon, I have not seen one shiny, period. I got a shiny Tangla in Heart Gold Soul Silver, and that was the first thing I ever EV trained. Wow. And then I lost my cartridge over it. See you, Sora. Good night, Sora. I do like Black White 2 better than I do Black White Black White 1. They're just much better, funner games. I wanna get Brailler, but he's not here. Shawbot says goodbye. Goodbye, Shawbot. Bye Shawbot.
check your volume just to see if it's good. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> the radio from Heart Gold? Friggin' amazing. Especially because you could get, like, hi, Simulated Greg. Because, like, you could also get, like, the, the retro channels that would play all the other music that was, like, the stuff that you wouldn't normally hear from G GB Player. Oh, Plus there was some... What? GBB. Oh, awesome. Congrats. Yeah, something I really liked about Diamond and Pearl and Platinum that Derek Houston had was, um, I forget what it was called, but your little thing you had that was like the, that was basically the thing you used to like call people, like you download different apps on it. I actually really liked that thing. I hate that thing because it took up menu space on the bottom screen. They got it right in Soul Silver. They actually put the menu on the bottom screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just some random useless crap. Yeah, I actually like that because I use a lot of the apps that you had on that little thing a lot, so I liked it. I didn't use any of them. What use is a pedometer? I don't need to know what my team's health is. I just saw that in the last fight. Mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of stuff that wasn't really that useful. I will give it that the type advantage thing is amazing, though. Know? Yeah, the type advantage was good. It was... It was like a, one of the few things that was re really good about it. it was like, okay, here you can see like the type chart. That's nice. Not even just the type like, chart, but how the other types interact with each other. Like, oh yeah, you did. Beat up Seymour. Seymour butts. <laughs> One thing I don't like is getting automatically healed without getting asked. I know during some of my older runs, I actually kind of relied on things like overheat and stuff. Like when you're at lower health, you get bonus on your attack strength. So you could sweep Pokemon when you were at low health, but you couldn't at higher health, and they would just OHKO you in return. So it's like, no, I didn't want that to happen! Oh no, I used Water Gun. It's way too easy. There's XP for literally everything you can heal in the middle of the cave. Because why not? Yeah. No one had more than like three or four Pokemon until you could heal even more. Yeah. It's just... So even, even the villain only had four Pokemon at his max. It's like, come on. Mega beat everybody. Okay, technically Giovanni only had like Rhyhorn, uh, the King and Queen, and Kangaskhan. But, like. You weren't so obscenely over leveled that it was that huge of a deal. Yeah, he was powerful. Like, it wasn't like you could pull a Mega out during that battle. It was just like. And if you weren't wanted to be like 20 levels over, yeah. you actually had to grind for it. My party was all at least 20 levels over, and I did literally no grinding. I just beat the trainers and caught Pokemon. Yeah. The game didn't properly scale. I think it would have been interesting if not only you you and your Pokemon had Oh, hey, it's Mega Mr. Opower. No, it's But if you guy. faced opponents who used Mega Evolutions. It would be interesting if they had that. What? If you could actually fight more people that had Mega Evolutions, and the AI had slightly more of an impact. Instead of having like maybe three people that can make out all and they were still worthless anyway. Yeah. Megas being a bit more commonplace would be nice. Or making it so like Megas had a chance to not work. Like, early on, if like the Lucario that just is given to you, you have to make that thing actually care for you before it actually like before Megas actually became like a viable thing for him because he doesn't care about you enough for the connection that is supposed to be so deep and inlaid for Megas to work, to work, you know? Something like that. I don't know. It would have been nice.